The railway underground project in Taipei City and the main structure of the new Taipei main station, undertaken by the Retsair Engineering Agency, is one of the 14 major construction projects. It was officially completed on September 1, 1989. The inauguration ceremony was held grandly in the main hall on the first floor. The ceremony was presided over by Premier Li of the Executive Yu Yuan. Government officials and people from all walks of life, more than 1,500 in total, attended the ceremony, making it an unprecedented event. Premier Li, in his speech, affirmed the railway underground project in Taipei City, praising its high standards in planning, design, and construction. The government's efficient execution and the wide-ranging benefits of the project's completion were all commended. He thanked everyone for their support of the project and praised all the staff for their hard work over more than four years. After the ceremony, accompanied by Mr. Dong Ping, the then technical superintendent of the Ministry of Transportation and Communications and the director of Underground Railway Constructure Office, Premier Li took a special vehicle to tour the east-west tunnels, listened to explanations about the tunnel facilities, and then returned to the new station, concluding all the events. The railway underground at Taipei Station began construction on July 6, 1985. The groundbreaking ceremony was jointly presided over by the then Minister Lin of the MOTC, Chairman Xu of the provincial government, and Mayor Su of Taipei City. Construction staff from the RSEA began with large demolition machinery to dismantle the old Taipei main station building. After the demolition, they proceeded with waste clearance and land leveling. While pioneering work commenced on the construction site, a large number of engineers gathered in the office, engaging in design, planning, and drawing-related tasks. After leveling the land, measurement and layout work began immediately. The engineering staff tirelessly established each benchmark and repeatedly calibrated them, laying a solid foundation for future work. In the main structure project of the new Taipei main station, Foundation construction is one of the most challenging parts. The excavation work reached a depth of 30 meters underground, involving a massive amount of earth moving. Therefore, the installation of steel sheet piles and the construction of diaphragm walls were key tasks in the earth excavation process. In the construction of diaphragm walls, the work was divided into many units. First, guide ditches were made followed by excavating downwards with specialized drilling machinery. Once the excavation reached the designed depth, the process of installing steel cages and pouring concrete began. When each unit was completed and connected into a solid hole, it could effectively retain soil, ensuring the progress of the excavation. This large and complex project was the first in the country. Given the poor construction environment, challenging geology, high groundwater level, and the need to consider factors like earthquakes and heavy rain, the difficulty of the project was evident. To lower the groundwater level, many well points were installed on the site, using vacuum suction to remove groundwater. Additionally, to prevent the collapse of the slope soil, workers installed sandbags as temporary slope protection to ensure the stability of the slopes. In the new Taipei main station project, pre-stressed earth anchors played a crucial role. Through the construction of the earth anchors, the tensile force can be transmitted into the ground, providing sufficient resistance against the pressure from the soil behind the diaphragm walls. The construction process typically involved four steps, drilling, assembly, and insertion of steel structures, grouting at the fixed end, and applying pre-stress. The steel components used in this project were over 60 meters in length, requiring high technical skill and strict quality control measures to ensure the safety of the construction. The Taipei Underground Railway project faced very challenging construction environments and conditions, with the necessity to ensure railway operational safety, allowing for the continuous normal operation of passenger and freight trains. Apart from maintaining the safety of nearby high-rise buildings, it was also crucial to ensure the safety of the construction site itself. In this vast construction area, foundation excavation was conducted on one side, 
while on the other, foundation concrete structural construction took place. The station's foundation was made with thick reinforced concrete. The task of rebar assembly was extremely challenging. An astonishing amount of steel reinforcement, varying in diameter and size, was processed into specific shapes according to construction drawings and then correctly secured in place. This was followed by formwork and concrete operations. Once one unit was completed, work on the next unit began. A significant portion of the Taipei Main Station building is underground. To prevent groundwater from entering the structure, it was necessary to apply a waterproof membrane on the surface of the underground structures, thereby preventing contact between water and the walls. Due to the Taipei MRT Tamsway line passing below the eastern side of Taipei Main Station, the underground structure in this intersection area has four levels. The lowest two levels are used for the MRT Tamsway line. Due to the deep underground nature of this area, which was the deepest excavation in this project, the construction employed the top-down construction method as required by the project. This method involved constructing reverse circulation cast-in-place piles at ground level, which served as future supports and permanent use. Then, a concrete slab structure was constructed, and excavation was carried out under the concrete slab. At this point, the upper concrete slab could act as a support for the surrounding retaining walls to resist soil pressure. Excavation was carried out layer by layer downward, and the original foundation piles were cleared and reinforced with steel and concrete, completing the support columns. To facilitate train stops and the boarding and alighting of passengers and goods, the surface edges of all platforms need to be very straight and aesthetically pleasing. The workers, in challenging conditions and working around the clock, completed the concrete work of the platform layer. To achieve high standards of quality, steel molds were used in constructing columns, which ensured that the concrete surfaces were smooth, flat, robust, and visually appealing. The part of the new Taipei main station built by the RSEA includes the construction of the underground diaphragm walls, earthwork excavation, construction of the four underground and six above-ground floors of the station building, the east parking lot, parts of the mass rapid transit system, and the main substation building structure. The complexity and intricacy of the project progress were indeed very challenging. However, with the collective effort of all RSEA staff, Utilizing their exquisite skills, experience, and professional knowledge, they overcame all difficulties to complete even the most arduous tasks on time. In the new station project, the design of rebar in concrete columns was very dense, making it impractical to use the general lap splicing method for construction. Therefore, rebar couplers were used instead to join two sections of rebar into one, maintaining the original strength while keeping an appropriate gap to ensure full integration with the concrete. During the construction of the floors, steel pipe supports and girder formworks were set up in sequence. Then, adjustable telescopic steel beams were used as floor supports. This method was not only fast in construction but also reduced the use of vertical steel pipe supports. Finally, timbers and panels were laid, marking the completion of this phase. The design of new Taipei Main Station features a narrower lower part with upper levels gradually projecting outwards. This design added many challenges during construction, especially under the protruding northern side of the station building, right above the railway tracks trains pass on these tracks day and night, making it impossible to erect support structures from the ground up. The RSEA then opted for giant steel girders, one end locked onto the floor, and the other end projecting outwards. Supports and formworks were then assembled on these girders to serve as support for the layer above, allowing for the pouring of the structural concrete. The effort put into safety measures during this construction process was substantial. The main structure of New Taipei Main Station, including the top-level structure, was progressively completed through the efforts of the RSEA staff. This included formwork and rebar assembly, installation of trunking, and concrete pouring operations over an area of 15,000 square meters. According to work requirements, it was divided into 22 units of varying sizes for construction. 
The roof of the new station building, transitioning from a 21-degree incline to a curved surface and then vertical, posed a considerable challenge for workers to move around it. The challenges of the construction and the hardship faced by the workers can only be imagined. Former President Li Denghui visited the construction site on December 23, 1988. Accompanied by site personnel, he was briefed on the construction situation. After listening to the construction briefing, President Li proceeded to inspect the completed underground portion. President Li commended the work and achievements of the personnel involved in the railway underground project, providing significant encouragement to all construction workers. On July 1, 1988, the rooftop skylight's main girder hoisting work was conducted. These tasks were performed in high winds at high altitudes. The first girder to be hoisted was 40 meters long and weighed 39.6 metric tons, requiring precise installation onto bolts on the first floor, with a permissible error of just 3 centimeters. This was followed by the installation of steel roof beams and the securing of smaller cross beams, all of which had to be positioned accurately to facilitate the installation of skylight glass. Under such strict precision requirements, the RSEA staff displayed exceptional skills, completing the tasks flawlessly. The new Taipei Main Station project was once the largest and most advanced station in Asia. The station is 140 meters long, 109.5 meters wide, and 47.8 meters high. This project, after planning, discussions, and design, was completed under the dedicated efforts of all RSEA employees over more than four years, overcoming all obstacles and challenges. Apart from marking a new era in our country's railway transportation history, it also laid a solid foundation for Taipei City's transportation and Taiwan's public infrastructure. It represents the beginning of our nation's journey towards modernization and a high-quality life. Furthermore, it attests to the excellent construction technology, capabilities, and reputation of the RSEA's construction work as stated in its four major management principles, remarkable reputation, superior service, excellent efficiency, and aggressive action, which ensure that every project is carried out to perfection.